Hello, this is Ray Motor from ACG, and welcome to this edition of The Hot Seat. Joining me today is Rami Rahim from Juniper Networks. Rami, thanks for joining The Hot Seat. Thank you, Ray. It's great to be here. Second time, right? Second time. Well, first of all, I mean, congratulations on your two-year anniversary. I appreciate it. It's hard to believe it's been two years. Uh, still having a blast. Yeah, I'm sure we can speak for days about all the trials and turbulence of being a CEO of a public company. Without a doubt. Yeah, we fought it out. Now, maybe if we can get started, right? We, we see a lot of transitions in the industry, right? Mm -hmm. And anytime I see transitions, I always see there's opportunities there for growth in certain spots that you could address. How is Juniper positioned to be able to address that growth? Yeah, there's no doubt a major transformation that's happening around us. I think uh, in summary, it's characterized by this transformation towards the cloud. I right. think CIOs, enterprise CIOs, are struggling to find ways to invest in projects that move the business forward right. uh, and because so much of their costs go into just keeping the lights on with legacy infrastructure, mm -hmm. they're moving towards public and private hybrid cloud architectures right. to solve that problem. Right. Uh, similarly, in the telco space, right. you know, executives are trying to figure out a way to achieve profitable growth mm -hmm. uh, and it's exceptionally hard because so much of the investment today just is going into the infrastructure to keep up with the growth in capacity right. and That's performance. Right. I think they're moving towards the telco cloud architecture, right? Okay. right? Transforming their network locations mm -hmm. to essentially data center-like entities that from which they deliver value-generating virtual services. Yeah. Um, look, Juniper is a company that thrives on market inflection points. Mm -hmm. we, we view these inflection points as an opportunity for us right. to innovate, and to come up with compelling solutions, and to ultimately gain market share as a result of the network transformation. We're doing just that. Yeah, no, that's great. Now, one thing that we see here a lot from our customers is automation, right? And I mean, a lot of them feel that automation is going to be a critical part going forward in 2017. I mean, how is Juniper helping their customers or positioned to help this transition to the cloud with automation? Yeah, look, we view automation as the next big thing in yeah. networking. Right. Uh, at the end of the day, if all of the resources that mm -hmm. are going into running networks are stuck in legacy mode and right. just, as I say, keeping the lights on right. rather than innovating and determining how to generate real value over these networks mm -hmm. that can, you know, help customers grow their revenue, right. then, you know, we're stuck as an industry. Innovation, right. uh, automation is mm -hmm. a way in which telcos, uh, enterprises, cloud mm -hmm. providers can free up their resources to really thinking about to really start thinking about value generating services, okay. yeah. and yeah. that's why it's so important for us uh, as a company to innovate in this space to help our customers achieve what I think ultimately that end goal is of a self driving network. Right. Yeah. No. It's interesting. In the past, I used to always say. Uh, you know, no network, no cloud, right? Mm -hmm. Because a lot of people have this concept that the cloud just exists, but you need a foundation, right? But we've come a long way. Now when people think about the cloud, they think about a data center, right? Mm -hmm. uh, what do you see as Juniper's advantage in that area? Yeah, well, the, the data center is, of course, an extremely important part of any cloud architecture. Mm -hmm. um, as resources, as uh, services and workloads move to these data centers, they, of course, grow in scale. Okay. Think of the cloud providers, the major public cloud providers as an example of that, right. that essentially creates the need for a very high performance, highly automated network right. inside of the data center. Right. And that is an example of the market toward, uh, moving towards Juniper's sweet spot. Sweet spot right. And as important as the data center is, are the networks that connect the data centers to mm -hmm. the consumers of cloud services. Right. Okay. Uh, and you know, Juniper recognized the pressure that these data centers and the cloud services mm -hmm. are going to put on these wide area networks right. years ago and developed a purpose-built platform uh, uh, to help customers deal with that pressure. Yeah. That's the PTX. Yeah. Yeah. And so this is why today we're seeing such phenomenal growth mm -hmm. in our data center switching infrastructure, the right. QFX, yeah. mm -hmm. as well as our uh, routing mm -hmm. wide area network infrastructure, the PTX. The PTX right, it's yeah. um, seeing phenomenal growth, something we're very proud of. Yeah. Yeah, I've added where uh, no network, no cloud, to now no security, no business, right? Mm -hmm. So it's an important part of it. Now, maybe we can close with it. You've been pretty busy lately, right? You've had some acquisitions. You acquired a software machine learning company mm -hmm. and a silicon photonics company. Yes. I mean, what were the drivers behind that? But more importantly, what is it that you're up to? Yeah. If you think about the two most important dimensions of innovation right. for achieving this 
cloud architecture, mm -hmm. the first to scale in performance. Okay. And Orion, our silicon photonics acquisition, mm -hmm. is all around that. If right. you think about how you achieve the, uh, the scale and performance that our customers are demanding today and in the future, mm -hmm. Uh, it's important for us to take a bet, not just on the electronics of the equipment that we provide, right. but the optics, because they yeah, represent right. such an important, such a large part of yeah. the overall cost of the systems. Yeah. Um, so that's a bet we're taking that yeah. will pay off in the next couple mm -hmm. of years. The, uh, AppFormix is mm -hmm. actually a, a more recent acquisition. Mm -hmm. The solution is already in the market, is mm -hmm. being embraced and honestly loved by many of our yes. customers. And that's in the second dimension of innovation mm -hmm. in the area of automation. automation. So think of this as a machine learning platform that utilizes uh, analytics and application awareness right. to provide fine-grained visibility and monitoring okay. of resource utilization mm -hmm. inside of the data center as well as uh, automated data center operations. Data center. So we're moving as a company mm -hmm. from not just providing the infrastructure and software to help build these cloud data right. centers, yeah. but now also to help our customers automate, automate and monitor them basis. on an ongoing basis. Yeah. And um, very excited about both of these uh, acquisitions Excellent. that we've made. Yeah, yeah, busy. Uh, well, you're officially off the hot seat. Uh, it feels good to be off yeah, the hot yeah, seat, yeah. right? Well, congratulations on your two-year anniversary again. With Rami, this is Ray Moda. Thanks for joining this edition of the hot seat. Thank you.